conversation. Let's bring another voice uh, into uh, into the mix. Uh, Elireza Jafazadeh, he's the deputy director of the Washington office of the National Council of Resistance of Iran. He's joining us live out of Washington, D.C. Uh, Elireza, good to have you with us uh, this morning. First of all, what would you like to see happen? Well, I think uh, what um, certainly the people of Iran would like to see happen, and I would agree with that, is that to see a, a real representative uh, form of uh, elections, which this one is not and the previous ones have not been, because there is a very powerful Guardian Council controlled entirely by the Supreme Leader that disqualifies candidates all of which, by the way, have total allegiance to the uh, clerical system and the supreme leader. About half of the 12,000 candidates were disqualified already. So there is really not a, a real choice before the people of Iran to decide. And at the end of the day, it wouldn't really matter much which cleric or which person uh, uh, among the candidates really at the end of the day gets to the uh, parliament or the assembly of experts because none of which are going to defend the rights of the people. Uh, rather, they're more interested in gaining the upper hand, whether it's the parliament or the assembly of experts. And Lireza, let, let me also just bring in a little bit of background on the organization that, that you're representing, uh, the National Council of Resistance of Iran. You're, from what I understand, a broad group of, of democratic Iranian organizations. You're a parliament in exile as well. You, again, a very, very wide group that you represent, Kurds, Armenians, Jews. And your aim is for a secular democratic republic, uh, uh, a separate region in Iran, essentially, are separating the state versus uh, uh, versus religion. Don't you think, though, that what President Rouhani has done so far is a step in the right direction, and that he might be able to continue to push through reforms? Well, um, uh, unfortunately, that hasn't been the case because uh, Rouhani himself, he's a cleric. He's a legion to the very same clerical system. And look at his record. Since he became president, there have been 2,200 uh, executions, some of which were public, which is a higher rate than it was under Ahmadinejad, his you know, predecessor. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, political uh, freedoms in the country, the more people have been thrown in jail, journalists have been banned, and, and uh, newspapers have been closed, religious minorities have been attacked and, and, and killed. And in terms of the economy, uh, that there has been no improvement whatsoever to the country. You see now the economy entirely run by the Revolutionary Guards. Over 50 percent of the Iranian economy is run by the Iranian Revolutionary Guards and their, you know, institutions. And there's widespread corruption going on. And these are the Revolutionary Guards who are interested in filling their own pockets rather than, you know, improving the economy. So I don't see how the outcome of this election could really change the situation uh, in the country when you're basically going to have pretty much the same players who have been running the show in the past years based on the same platforms and the same clerical system. And Ali Reza, if the moderates are really set to be sidelined here, as you seem to suggest, what does that mean for Rouhani's next re-election effort? Well, I, I think uh, uh, what you're going to see, uh, of course, in the past uh, few weeks, uh, there's been a lot of effort by the Supreme Leader trying to disqualify the rival faction uh, just to maintain the dominance in the parliament as well as the, as well as the assembly of experts. Uh, but I, I think uh, the outcome will, 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 will be clear in the next you know, couple of days. Uh, who really, which faction really gains the, uh, the upper hand. But I think at the end of the day, when it comes to the next presidential election, if the regime survives by then, uh, uh, the same situation is going to exist. The main concern of the regime and the Supreme Leader has always been what's the outrage of the population? What's going to happen uh, in the future not to repeat the 2009 uprising? If you recall, following the presidential elections in 2009, an outrage broke out and it expanded way beyond the election issues and people were calling for regime change and death to the supreme leader, death to the clerical system yeah. and they're afraid that the same situation might actually repeat itself. Ali Reza, thank you very much uh, for your views. Uh, Ali Reza, uh, Jafar is uh, the deputy director of the Washington office of the National Council of Resistance of Iran. Well, if an age